Yo, what up guys? Um, it is, what day is it? October, 8, uh, no, November. Jesus Christ. Uh, November 8th, uh, 3.55. So what I'm doing today is, uh, it is Monday. I'm driving to Pocatello, Idaho, uh, taking a Lowe's load. And uh, so right now I'm in Ontario. Well, GPS says it's Fruitland. So I'm at the uh, rest area. Fruitland, Idaho. And uh, so some of the new stuff that I got, I'm kind of doing a 30 minute reset here. So forgive me for not looking beautiful. Um, so one of the new things that I got Uh, so I got rid of this. This is the one that system gave me. And I upgraded to this. This thing is uh, pretty dope. I think I spent like 50 bucks on it, something like that. It's a Puramex. Puramex, uh, I forget what they called it. It's an actual thing, but it's super comfortable, dude. Like it has like these little bands right here. This is uh, like rubberized, but this is like for your forehead. So when you're wearing it, it's actually really comfortable. Um, and then the other thing that I uh, got was uh, this laptop case. I actually just threw away that cardboard thing I was using earlier. Um, I'm sure if, if you guys follow my channel at all, you'd, you'll see that I've actually uh, been using like the cardboard insert that my laptop came with um, this one is a uh, Lenovo and I got it from Amazon for like 10 or $11 um, I think it was actually the cheapest one that I could find without it looking completely like shit I think it's because it says Lenovo on it and people aren't really jived to that but I really don't care it, it holds almost everything like I could put like business cards in here I could put uh, you know like maybe you know, like pens. I mean, I, I don't know what else I could put in here. But, uh, I'm not really a traveling salesman or anything, so I can't really say otherwise. Um, not sure what this is, but I mean, it only half closes. Let me, let me open it up all the way. Oh, it was already open. Yeah, it only half half opens, but that's fine. Um, so I guess you could put like notebooks and stuff here, and then put your laptop here. Um, yeah, my laptop's actually a really nice laptop. Like, so I put a little bit of vinyl on it just to protect the top, and so far it's obviously has it's done a really really great job at protecting. Um, I even put a little bit on the bottom just because you know I'm that weird, but. Yeah, it's got the i7 in there with the Iris XE. Pretty solid, pretty solid computer. I want to put my own, my own OS on there, but I just haven't had the time to do that. Um, yeah, that goes in there like that. There's that. Um, what I do want to upgrade or change or you know whatever is, is this. I want to change this because I feel like this hey it's dirty as shit I got it the first you know I mean first truck job you know I mean it's definitely one to keep but I've seen other guys have some pretty cool looking ones and I don't know um, one of the coffees that I got and I've had the stuff before a little shameless plug here but you know wired willies stuff's like 20 or 25 bucks for the bag but it's really good it's two pounds worth of just just in your face coffee it is uh local to everett washington so um definitely repping that local stuff local to uh you know northwest um gosh what else it's pretty much it oh yeah and then my inverter i threw away my yellow one because it was kind of garbage the one that i got from uh that one guy that was at the rest area um threw that away i got this one it's called uh power bygd 
So I've been using that to power um, this, my uh, Google Pixel 2 Pro XL, whatever the hell it is, and then my uh, GPS, that all gets powered through that. Um, I don't plug in my um, dash cam to it because I would need like a little splitter, but it does a pretty good job so far. It doesn't make any noise. The last one looked like it actually sounded like a, uh... damn, look at this wire. It's like, um, the other one actually sounded like it wanted to um, explode. So uh, I really wanted to figure that out before that happened. Um, but yeah, this, this used to, maybe when I'm at Lowe's, um, I'll pick up some, some more of this little sticky stuff. But yeah, it used to go right here and it's still it's still a little tacky but um yeah it fell off so uh what else did i get man i got quite a bit of stuff i just said you know i'm just gonna get some stuff so i got uh some clorox disinfecting wipes you should work really good grapefruit flavor uh tahitian grapefruit splash mm. And then, uh, you know, some rubbing alcohol that has conveniently kind of leaked on stuff, but that's fine. Um, I got rubbing alcohol just because I vape in my truck and it gets all over the windows and I just want a really easy way to just cut that, you know what I mean? So I'll, I'll use that to, you know, get all the windows and whatever surfaces and then, and then use the Brillo Basics glass cleaner to follow up with it. You know, I figure if I do that, you know, at least once, once a week, um, maybe, you know, when I get home or, uh, you know, before I leave, maybe, you know, hit, hit that, you know, so it's good. And then this shit right here, Cranberry Oh So Merry from Glade. This stuff is like candy, like aerosol candy, dude. Like you, you spray it. Yeah. What notes of cranberries and champagne. I mean... Whew. Yeah, man, it's like it's like aerosol candy. It's fucking amazing. The other stuff that I have is um, what is it? What the hell is it? Oh yeah, it's this fresh cut pine. Not great. Um, it's very like what do I want to say? Like uh, vinegary. So it almost makes everything smell like, like ass, you know, like it's just, I hold on to it just because I'm not a wasteful guy, but it just smells like butt. It just makes everything smell weird. And then I got a little trees, you know, I got a little trees. Everything's covered in rubbing alcohol. Um, I got one of these just so I could, you know, hang it and, you know, I don't know, smell good, but Yep, I'm going to hang that at some point. This whole bag is just got rubbing alcohol all over it. I need to get like a little tote so I can put it somewhere and have things like this. This truck does not have enough. Like if they had put some like little cubbies, maybe it opens. Nope. <laughs> if they would have put like little cubbies right here, that would have been great. Cause then, you know, you could just take stuff, you know, like, like this and just be like, oh, oh. Boop, right there. But there's nowhere to put it. I can't. They need another issue. They should have put a light in here. I feel like if I put like one of those little push lights, that would be really, really awesome. And I need to get some of those. But if they would have put a light in here, that would have been really dope. I would use this area up here, which you cannot see, but um, my little hand vac goes there. That's where my little hand vac goes. Um, I might get like, I might get like a little tote thing to put in here because I don't hang stuff, so it doesn't make any sense for me. But I might put like a little tote uh, with little drawers in here so I can better organize all this stuff because I just got like lotion and you know toothpaste and Listerine and dude wipes and shit. I mean, I just got it all just like hanging out in here. And I forgot my boots at home. They got wet on the last venture uh, to the construction site. 
my normal shoes got wet, so I started. I wore my boots uh, to pick up this load that I sat on over the weekend, and uh, my dumbass left them at home, so I don't have any boots. On um, it's supposed to be, you know, we're getting into that snowy weather, and uh, you know that kind of sucks. So. Hopefully uh, I could run through the house at some point this next week and pick that stuff up. That would be really cool. But yeah, check out what transpired. Oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you my gloves. I got these. I've already wore them, you know, but I got these gloves. These are really awesome. They have, uh, it's leather. They're insulated. They're, they're fuzzy on the inside. They're so far, you know, earning their keep. Um, I think they're waterproof too. Yeah, water, waterproof. Yep, waterproof. And then I got some of these, which I wore when it was wet out, and they these are not waterproof. Uh, so I found out, but still really good value if you need some good gloves. <laughs> but yeah, this happened. Which I assume no responsibility for, but. the wrap it came off and then now this this has like a little bulge thing going on which I'm not really sure what that's about but I've been kind of stoked because the ladders have held the ladders have held everything else is held but I don't know why that would be bulging out these are like they're tight to keep them on there I mean they're appropriately tight this is really tight because obviously that's lumber but yeah I don't know I don't know and when you're at the lows they don't let you get up on the load otherwise I would have I would have stretched this all the way up over that and then you know but see the thing with lows with the distribution center is on the weekend if nobody's there then I'll get up there but during the week, you know, there's just too many, too many employees there. There's just too many employees. Oh man, it smells so good in here. Wow, this smells so good. Um, yes. So yes, hard hat, um, the inverter. That's really cool, I love that. Um, I got some cleaning supplies. Uh, I got some new coffee. Oh. What else? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I got some new e juice. If anybody's interested, you know, I got some new e juice. I got. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? This is my. This is what I live out of. I bring this back and forth from home. Uh, lemon almond. Oh, three milligrams. I thought I got six. No wonder why. I feel all bleh. I thought it was six milligram. Anyway, it's ice. That's really good. I had the non-ice stuff a long time ago, and that was, it was really delicious. So I got that. And then I got, you know, some more Heisenberg. Um, yes, really good stuff. And then that's the peach. Ah, yes. So I ended up going with that pod juice again. But this is wild berry, uh, uh, let's see, berry watermelon chilled. So this is ice, not as ice, but it is chilled, if that makes sense. Um, this has been really good too. I've been really enjoying this. I got it. Um, and this rig right here got the Berserker M2 uh, MTL uh, Berserker 2 MTL on the Aegis Solo, and then I got um, that Lemonon, Lemonon, and uh, my Titan, my Titan rig, which is still kicking at five volts, 78 watts. It's plenty for these uh, dual mesh decks. Completely, completely fine. Yeah, when I stop, I'm gonna have to charge these. But I can go like two, two or three days and not and not charge these batteries. So, um, just on this load, I'm probably not gonna do much, too, you know, too much, uh, you know, in the way of, of vlogging with this load. But 
Um, it's gonna be four hours and 36 minutes to get there. Um, and I'm gonna have four, uh, five hours and 21 minutes to drive. So I'll barely get there. Just barely. Um, it says that I'll get there at 9.47, so I don't know, or you know, let's say 10 o'clock. I don't know if that includes the time difference. It should, but I don't know if it will. Because if that's the case, then it'll obviously be like 11. But, yeah. So I only have 279 more miles to go in 4 hours and 36 minutes to drive. Um, I feel like I've been driving most of the day already. And I'm going to be honest, I'm tired. That, that weekend, it tired me out. It tired it tireded me out. It's, it's, I mean, it's nice going home, but uh, sometimes it just makes me more tired. Oh, yeah, and then I got this keyboard. This is really cool. It folds out. I can do uh, Mac. Or Windows or Android, you just hit the function but the uh, function key, and then you just hit you know one of those, and it changes, um, you know, for like Android. So I'd hit function W for Android, and then I'm sure like some of these buttons kind of come into effect. But it operates on Bluetooth, um, micro USB charging. Um, so yeah, yeah, and actually I use this with uh, my Mac, my Hackintosh that I have in here i use that with it um, but i'm hoping to get rid of this so i have a, a package of bowls down there once i'm done with these and that'll go in there rice cakes will go up there um coffee maker don't know where i'll put that I have some games and shit in here that i really don't need i mean hopefully within the next week or two you know i'll be able to get rid of that and actually be able to use my bed um, but for right now, you know, I just have like clean clothes right here and then I have uh, You know empty bags right there for garbage um, My hand back and uh, you know a couple couple things in this box You know, these are all food related which can easily go in there and then the box can just be thrown away um, I did get this I actually ended up buying like a hat with uh, like the fur and stuff on it um, But it was real fur uh, real rabbit fur and I just I didn't like the idea so it's going back. I don't. I don't want to put dead rabbit on my head. Um, mainly because I have the choice, and um, I'm just choosing not to not to deal with that. And this, I think, was. It's like a mask that goes over your head, and it keep you know covers you know for like cold weather and stuff. Update video. I'm gonna call it a little update video. Um, so yeah, I mean, if uh, you guys have any. Have any uh, you know suggestions as far as you know an another one of these you know really quality good one? Uh, please drop them in the comments. Um, if you have any suggestions in general, drop those in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you know you want to see more of this type of stuff. Obviously, you know hit that bell if you know, if you want to be notified on on new new videos that are dropping or have dropped or whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, until next time, take it easy.